Hello, uh, Trev here. I'm going to do a product review today of Justin Guitar's app. So um, I've been using it with um, some of my students, if I just click on it, and um, we've been um, using it to tune our guitars, using it to do a few games, and I was thinking of doing some more recordings but I think he's done it so well I thought I'm just going to kind of um, endorse his product actually. So the first thing to say is if you download it, I'm using an iPhone but I think you've got an Android version, but you don't have to subscribe to it, it says start your free trial. If you just click the X you actually have quite a lot of um, free features in this app. So I'll just show you the tuner first of all. So the tuner you've got at the top you've got beginner, automatic and sound. If we just show the sound, so you can get the sound of your strings. And let's just try automatic. So automatic is what I've been using in the class. So if I play my E string, it'll show that it's so that's in tune. And then A is, you can see you're trying to get, get it to kind of match up with the center and maybe if I turn that sound up it makes a little kind of nice noise. Let's try G. So it makes a little kind of noise to say that your string is in tune. And then so I think that's really good especially for like my younger students the fact that it goes green and the fact it kind of gives you a little tick kind of like um, when it's in tune is really um, is really helpful. Um, okay they might need some support I'm sure my older students can cope with this app but um, in class I've kind of helped them a little bit. The other one I wanted to show you is practice so if we click on practice and then if we go to chord exercises maybe we shall try the top one which says basic chords and now you've got a selection of chords that you can practice let's practice the A chord and again I'll just stick it here so you can sort of see and it gives you a nice chord box so you can line up your chord and then play each string if you play one wrong it won't recognize it and you want to go and get them all green and it makes little sound for you when you've done it correctly. And I think that's really really useful just for getting your fingers in the correct place if you get it wrong. It's gonna stop you until you get it correct. Quite satisfying especially for for perhaps um, people that like computer games and that sort of app. Um, Let's try one more. So um, let's go back um, to uh, one minute changes, basic chords. So this is something I thought about making a video um, of myself because I think it's quite a good way to do some chord strengthening exercises if you're swapping between two chords. How many can you do in a minute? But um, he's beat me to it and like I say he's done it really well and it's free so um, I don't see any reason to not use Justin Guitar app. Um, right, so if we try, what is it, A, A and D, so you pick two chords, you click the kind of go button and you see how many times you can change between the two chords. So we strum and it gives you the next one. And in a quiet room, it's really good at listening. Actually, if you do it sort of slightly wrong, it doesn't let you do it. Although I did find some students were doing sort of this sort of thing, and it does get a bit confused if you do lots of noise, but generally I think it's really, really accurate. And if you get a wrong chord, like I say, it'll well, it got it that time, but it'll kind of <laughs> it'll encourage you to bit um, to be accurate as well. So I think it's a really good thing at the end of the minute um, Oh, we've only got 10 more seconds. Let's see if we can get to the end of the minute, but at the end of the minute it gives you um, A score let's just see um, what that says 
there we go so I've got a score of 28 so again so those who are interested in sort of um, or, or like playing computer games or that sort of goal you can try and beat your score and um, you can go replay and do it again um, you can change the chords just got basic chords um, but you can do um, do that in a various different ways which I think is really good you do have a few more other features. I've not used all of the free features, but you've got a strumming exercise where you can strum sort of along to sort of a metronome. You've got a little limited scales. There's not very many scale exercises and um, sort of technique exercises. Um, there's also some songs. So again, if I just show you a song. <clears throat> and it'll show you the chord and stuff. And all of that is free, okay? So obviously if you use the paid features, it's a subscription service and you've got, um, I don't know how much it is, but you've got to pay quite quite a, uh, quite a bit. I mean, if you use it a lot, it's still worth it. But certainly the, the free features is what I'm um, sort of concentrating on this video. Justin Guitar is, is a great, um, great guy. He's released a lot of books that are very useful. So I'm not saying don't support him financially by buying his product, but I think the free versions, the free bits on the app are very worth having a look at. And I've recommended it to a few of my students. So I thought I'd just um, give a little video and I hope you enjoy the app. I hope it's useful for tuning if you don't have a tuner and getting some of those chord changes. That's what I want you to be um, having a little look at. Okay, bye-bye.